I don't know what gives Sim what for means, but we're gonna do it. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Oh my God, Victoria's getting into a fight with him. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dynasty. In the last episode, we had the prom for Astrid and for Alistair and for all of their friends. So we had so many things happen at prom. We had breakups and we had some potential cheating and framing and all this other stuff. So we're definitely going to get into that in this episode. And I think in this episode, we're also going to have a big secret come out too. We're going to be focusing a bit on Harley and her mother, Victoria. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play The Sims 4 Dynasty. Okay, so it is Monday. It has been a few days since the prom. Also guys, I did get a new cooling pad and it sounds like my fan on my computer is still going, but it also sounds like the cooling pad's going. It's not like too, too loud, but I apologize if you can hear it. Um, hopefully it's not that loud in post editing. So yeah, okay. So it has been a few days since prom. So basically it looks like the kids and, and Victoria, she actually is going to school, but I am going to have her take the day off because, let's see, take a vacation day. So basically, Victoria has gotten this note and the note was kind of this blackmail thing because we have not paid too much attention to Victoria and Harley and I said I would get into their backstories and everything when I did like the intro video and I haven't since then. Um, so, also also guys, so real quick, um, so we'll just go ahead, we'll, we'll hang out with Victoria. Um, so I didn't even realize that so many people had liked Dynasty so much because I did get a lot of people in my royal family episodes they were commenting and asking when the next dynasty series is coming out and kind of saying that like i don't do too much dynasty and i apologize one and i think i mentioned this in the last episode i have not been watching dynasty anymore jake and i had to stop because i'm kind of a wimp and i was just i don't want to ruin it but basically somebody's like they have to get plastic surgery for a reason and it was just like a horrible reason why they had to and it just like really grossed me out. Um, and I'm, I am such a wimp when it comes to like TVs and movies and stuff. Like, I don't know, there's something about it. I just don't like one of the characters in the series right now. They bother me so much and they make me cringe because they make me so angry and I had to stop watching. So I think that might be why I kind of fell out of love of the Dynasty series. Um, so I apologize for that. I mean, I'm hoping to be able to create my own stories. It's just, it's hard for me to create videos if I'm not too, too into the characters and stories, but I think I have a few ideas for them. I might do this series in seasons so I might be ending the first season soon so that way I can kind of decide like what I want to do for the next season and have some time in between um so just so you guys know but I did not realize you guys liked it so much so if you are enjoying this if you are watching this please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and I'm serious when I say that because then I know if you guys enjoy my videos and it'll keep me doing more videos so also comment make comments if you have any suggestions for any storylines or anything like that too please please do that because it helps me so much and it helps me get this content out for you guys as well. So just wanted to go on that spiel real quick. Um, so the kids are all at work. So basically Victoria has gotten this note, although she looks super, super relaxed now. Um, but she got this note because basically, so she, she was married before Harley and it was Harley's stepfather and Harley knew about that. It's kind of hard to hide that from a child who doesn't look anything like their father. Um, so basically it was her stepfather and he was the one who passed away. But Harley's father, uh, Victoria had told her that, that Harley's father pat like died before like when she was born or before she was born um so harley never got to meet her father but that's actually not the truth and the truth is she was dating this really horrible horrible guy and she ended up getting pregnant and the and like her family because her family is pretty well known as well um but they hel helped her try to hide everything so they also had to tell everyone that like the father passed away but that they were actually married which is not actually true so this guy and we're about to meet him too but he is just like not the best person in the world i should probably have someone tend to the ba oh my gosh okay all right we need to get little baby beckett back in this crib because this is this is not right maybe i'll just move the crib to him that's a little freaky um he was just hanging out of the edge over there maybe i'll have harrison go talk to him also guys harley or uh, not harley um well maybe harley but astrid is just 
not a fan of the fact that they had a baby because that means they have to split her inheritance which she hates so so much so that's another thing also what the i'm gonna put this away i don't know what that is um so yeah so basically victoria has gotten this note saying that she needs to give her ex a million dollars which is going to be so hard victoria for victoria to get a hold of so like as you guys can see like we have like three million dollars in here but i have a feeling like they have just like so much more money in the bank like in their savings and all that and they have like all their assets divided up and like properties and all that too so it says we have three million dollars but i i mean he's a billionaire like they have way more than that i just didn't feel like using a cheat to like get all that money in there so um that's basically what's happened with victoria you guys can see too she is stressed so she is so stressed out from this note and she's been trying to find a way to get the money without having to tell harrison because she doesn't want harrison to know this stuff like harrison doesn't know what happened after they broke up and everything too also oh <gasps> Guys! Oh my gosh! Lance is asking Harley out on a date! Wait, wait! I thought they broke up. Oh my, okay, well we have to go. We're gonna come back to Victoria. Oh my god, wait, okay, I I had kind of figured that Lance broke up with Harley and that he didn't actually like her and that like he was gonna try to convince Astrid that they were just like, like that Harley was the one coming after him but the fact that he just asked her out on a date oh my god i was not planning this at all um the fact that he just asked her out on a date makes me think that maybe he either either he actually does like harley or he's just trying to wait they don't even have a good what guys i'm very confused okay well they're on a date so i guess we might as well like use this um so restaurant request table wait where did he go <gasps> oh my god he just ditched her he just disappeared out of thin air Wait, okay, he's calling her again. Hey, Harley, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends have been asking to meet you. What does unscrupulous mean? Do I have to look that up? Unscrupulous means having or showing no moral principles, not honest or fair. <laughs> oh, that's so rude. Oh my gosh. No, no. She'd be like, no, you can't tell him to meet me. He just ditched her, guys. <gasps> he just called her and ditched her. That's what he did. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I find that so funny. Okay, well, now Harley's upset. She skipped school because she thought Lance actually wanted to go on a date. Maybe that was his way of getting back at her for what she did for breaking up Astrid and him. Oh my god, guys. Oh, that was so funny. I think that's hilarious. Oh my god, her dress is really cute, but like her legs are going through it, so I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I guess we're going back to Victoria. So poor ass, or not poor Astrid, poor Harley. So that happened to her, although honestly, I think she kind of deserved it, not gonna lie. Um, so guys, okay, well anyway, so um, back to Victoria. So Victoria got this note saying that, so she's just trying to find a way to get the money. So she doesn't want to tell Harrison because she doesn't want him to know about her past and the fact that she did have a baby out of wedlock because he thinks that she had it in like her first marriage and then she was married again and that like the last like she he thinks she's been a widow twice so that's basically what harrison thinks so she doesn't want him to find out her real truth um and i'm sure that the butler carter too is also kind of being like a little bit nosy and trying to figure out what happened oh my god poor harley she had to like skip school and deal with all that okay now now she's feeling very tense now victoria's feeling very tense i feel like she was able to get some of her own money that she had in savings because basically he had threatened to show himself to harley because it's harley's father because victoria Victoria told Harley that her father died, so obviously she doesn't want Harley to find out. Although Harley's home now, and Harley should probably do her homework because I don't think she's been doing her homework. Um, she's not a great... Well, no, she's not doing bad, actually. Um, but she should do her homework. But I'm going to have Victoria, so she's kind of gonna... She's trying to do yoga to calm down, but she does need to kind of, like, sneak out and go because so so basically harley's father so his name is reuben mcelroy he has moved into a like temporary into this kind of like crappy apartment so basically he's gone bankrupt um and he needs money as soon as possible and then he's seen like victoria like on the news and everything and knows that he she married her very rich husband so basically i mean they had broken up because he was so like violent and everything too so yeah guys it's it's a situation i think that victoria's gonna have to deal with so basically victoria's going there to tell him that like she doesn't have the money she can get him like half of the money like five hundred thousand, but she can't get him a million dollars at the moment so he's just gonna have to wait because she doesn't want him to reveal himself to harley 
So I think this is gonna be a whole thing, you guys. Okay. Oh, I never know which apart. Oh, oh, hey. Okay, it's that one. But there's like so many doors, so I'm like, I don't know which apartment to go to. So she's at Ruben, Ruben's apartment. So basically, she has to tell him the situation. I think she's going to yell at him and just be. I don't know what gives him what for means, but we're gonna do it. Um, I guess vent to him. Um, because yeah. So she has to tell him like this is. Whoa! Wait! Whoa! Wait! Gives him what for? Does that mean to fight? Wait, I feel like that doesn't mean- to Oh my god, you guys! <gasps> oh my god, Victoria's getting into a fight with him! Oh my god, that's literally the first thing she did. She didn't even talk to him. Like, they just attacked each other. Okay, I'm sure she said something. I'm sure she said, like, I don't have the money, and then he got angry, and then they got into a fight. So, oh my god, did she win? Or what What happened? She beaten up. Oh, uh, no, I don't think- I don't think she won. Oh my god, wait, no! Now she's got a black eye and everything, you guys! And she has to go and tell her husband that she's gotta go tell Harrison. Like, like, oh my gosh. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. Yeah, she has to wait, she has to go home and Harrison's gonna be like, why do you have a black guy? Oh my god, he's gonna get so angry. <gasps> you guys, he's going to get so angry when he finds out. Oh my god, okay. Um, let's see. Argue. I guess I don't know. They need to argue about stuff though. But oh my god, okay. I mean, like, okay, so she's telling him that she doesn't have the money right now. Um, although she should probably get out of here as soon as possible. She went here alone, too. So that's also very, very dangerous. Um, but yeah, guys, this is- Oh, this is so crazy! Okay, okay. I- I think we're gonna- Should we just leave her here? I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't just leave her here. I think she'll be okay, but whenever she comes home, I guess we'll see her when she comes home. But I do want to, like, I wanted to cover some other stuff, too. Um, so, yeah, we'll see when she comes home. I don't know if Ruben's going to try to follow her and like also come to the house because that would be a huge thing if he did that. Um, because if he did that, that'd be so dangerous because Harrison is going to get like, it's gonna, he's got people on his like list, guys. He's got people who can go send out and then beat up this guy. Like I, oh my God, guys, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be such a thing. Okay, so, whoa, okay. So they're like back to back. Um, we're just gonna reset both of them because I don't know what's going on. Um, but we are back back here at the uh, Goldings residence. Um, so guys, I, well, you know what? I am gonna have them do, whoa, wait, where's their homework? I always lose their homework, you guys. Okay, guys, so in the last episode, I had um, Alistair break up with Lucian, which was his boyfriend for a while. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, I thought things like, I thought they had just asked to be friends and I thought things ended okay, but it doesn't look like they have a good relationship right now. So, oh, uh oh, okay. So they really don't have a good relationship, so that's not good. Um, But he actually ended up hanging out with Jonah and they ended up flirting and he came out to Jonah too and Jonah was very receptive of it too. So they like each other and I think he's going to see if Jonah will be his boyfriend and so he's gonna ask him to hang out. And then for Astrid, so her and Lance are she broke up with Lance in the last episode because she thought Lance was flirting with Harley and it turns out he actually wasn't but then uh she broke up with him and then he got angry and then he ended up messing around with Harley but then uh, you guys just saw Lance actually ended up breaking up with Harley they have a bad relationship and then he just asked her to go to a restaurant and Harley got really excited and then he ditched Harley so I think that was his payback for breaking up Astrid and and Lance so I I feel like it says that they have a good relationship but I think that Astrid she so oh oh, oh wait Jonah's here too I have to get Alistair to talk to Jonah um so I'm just going to do romantic caress cheek also I feel like Jonah or I feel like Astrid's father Harrison wanted to meet Jonah too because Jonah's father is a politician and I feel like Harrison might not like love politicians too much but I mean he's very much like like he's got to know the people like all the people so it actually oh wait okay so they actually have a good relationship already which I didn't actually know about um so I guess oh maybe they already know each other so maybe he just needs to ask him about day looks like Victoria's not back yet um but when Victoria gets back I don't think she's gonna be able to introduce herself to Jonah because that's that's she's got a black eye at the moment so that's gonna be a thing um so she i was probably gonna hide like as soon as she gets here um so i am going to have a uh alistair and jonah talk and then so yeah so back to astrid so she is not loving um or, oh wait wait is she gonna go talk is she gonna go take care of beckett oh she doesn't she looks look at that look of disgust like i 
hate this. Um, hey, I heard you became friends with Melody. Yes, we did. So another thing is that Astrid and Melody are now friends again. So that's a great thing because they were fighting for a while. So now they're good friends again. So that's good. Um, but oh, also guys, so I realized too, for those of you who do watch Dynasty and for those of you who knows Anders' daughter um, and she has red hair, I actually made Harley before I had seen Anders' daughter Kirby come in. So when I saw she had red hair too, I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's going to think that I made her after Kirby, which I didn't because I didn't know about Kirby when I first watched this and when I first made the family. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. They both have red hair. So she was not modeled after Kirby at all. But then I was like, wow, they're the same person. Like, really? That's like, they're they're the same, seriously. So um, I, I keep losing track. So Astrid, um, I feel like she hates Lance right now, but I feel like Lance has been trying to call her. Oh, Melody would like to come over and hang out? Yeah, okay. Um, so, um, so yeah, I feel like she hates Lance right now. Oh, maybe Melody's coming over to tell her because Harley was the one who told Melody, like, I, like, that she was gonna go flirt with Lance because at the time, Melody and Astrid didn't like each other. Um, so I feel like Melody's coming over to tell Astrid to give Lance another another go and then just hear him out because it wasn't actually Lance's fault. So we'll see how Astrid takes that. Um, but she, her, her and Harley do not like each other right now. So she just, like, walked in Harley's face and now they're, like, trying to watch the same TV. So that's interesting. So Alistair is talking to Jonas, so I'm pretty sure that uh, Harrison did talk to Jonah. Um, although that's not the best thing to wear when you're meeting his parents for the first time, but that's fine. Um, so I think Harrison saw Melody, so he's going to just talk to her and probably say like, I'm so glad you and Astrid are friends again. Um, Cause I think you're like a really good influence on her. Oh my God, wait guys, Victoria's back. <gasps> Victoria's back, she's coming in! Oh no! Uh-oh, okay. So Victoria's here, Blair. Okay, there's like, uh, people just keep calling them. Oh, are they boyfriend and, boyfriend? Wait, are they dating? They are! Okay, they're dating now, you guys. So that's good. So Jonah and Alistair are now dating. Um, Victoria's coming in, you guys. Harrison's talking to Melody. Is he about to see Victoria and ask what happened? Okay, can he see her from there? I don't think he can. I think Victoria is going to try to hide. So I think she needs to go upstairs, like, on the third floor where no one can see her and just kind of, like, hang out here and try to figure out what to do before anyone else sees her. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Okay, um, so, yeah, so I, I think Melody's going, Mel or, you know what, Ash should, should probably go talk to Melody. So I think... Um, she, Melody's going to go tell her to listen or try to hear out Lance, because I'm sure Lance has been trying to talk to her a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and talk to them. Okay, guys, so it looks like Victoria, she's coming back downstairs, you guys! Oh my god, she's coming back downstairs! Wait! Oh my god! Wait, is this Ruben? No! <gasps> guys! Ruben came to, to hunt down Victoria! And, and Harrison has not seen Victoria's black eye yet. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, what is she gonna do? Okay guys, I know this is a super short episode, but I think I'm going to end this here because I kind of want this to end on a cliffhanger. So we are going to end this here, but in the next episode, we're going to see if Ruben's going to reveal himself to Harley and what Harrison is going to do to Ruben. And then we're also going to see if Astrid and Lance end up making up, if Astrid ends up forgiving Lance. So if you enjoyed this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. If you have any suggestions for storylines or if you just have any comments to make, please do so in the comments below. Feel free to make a comment. I love seeing your guys' comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.